In a televised address to the nation, French President Emmanuel Macron receives the calls for him to resign and said he hoped to name a new prime minister soon. A day before, uh, after Prime Minister Michael Bernier was uh, asked the lawmakers in a non-confidence vote, the president uh, resisted calls for him to stand down, seeking instead to shift blame into the left wing and far right factions. This uh, address uh, to the nation, the French head of state had harsh words for the far right uh, national rally, whose leader Marine Le Pen has orchestrated opposition against him and has a vow to, uh, to frustrate his agenda. Macron is halfway through his second and final term as president, but the results of his snap elections, he called in June, have severely complicated the final stage of his time in power. Nobody can afford to wait to act, to be useful. The world and Europe are moving forward, and we need a government that can make decisions. And finally, the mandate that you have democratically entrusted to me is for five years, and I will exercise it to the full. My responsibility is to ensure the continuity of the state, the proper functioning of our institutions, the independence of our country and the protection of all of you. We can't afford to be divided, and we can't afford to stand still. This is why I will be appointing a prime minister in the next few days. I will give him the task of forming a government in the common interest, representing all the political forces of an arc of government that can participate in it or at the very least undertake not to censure it. The prime minister will have to carry out his consultations and form a tight government at your service, his priority will be the budget. A special law will have to be tabled in Parliament before mid-December. This temporary law will ensure the continuity of public services and the life of the country, as provided for in our Constitution. It will apply for 2025 the choices made in 2024.